All right, so we're gonna talk about evergreen because evergreen is one of those words that needs a little bit more definition than just, hey, I'm doing an evergreen lunch. So the question was, for an evergreen model with weekly dripped content, this Kajabian is having a hard time wrapping their head around how the drip schedule would work. Folks would be entering the offer or the course at different times, so the start date plus X amount of days wouldn't work. Now, this is why you want to define your evergreen model for dripping out your content. Now, we're first going to do it on the whiteboard, and then I'm going to show you inside Kajabi what it looks like. So let's start with our little people. So here you have people that are buying your course and they're purchasing at different times. So you have your offer, which you make that has your pricing information, everything on there, but you want, if you want, and we're gonna show two different versions of this, if you want everyone to start at the same time so that they drip at the same time, let's make that 0301 for our date. Now, when this date hits on the calendar, so calendar hits 0301, now we want them to access the content. We want the drip to take over. So drip starts and those will drip out on categories. So we're gonna do drip and we're gonna do days. You have total control over this. We're gonna use nice easy numbers though for the purposes of this. So let's say category one drips out right away, okay? We would make that published, meaning as soon as the product access date hits, which I'm gonna show you where that is in just a second, that is viewable right away. So that get set as published. Now, category, we'll make this category two, make that category one. We want this to drip out the next day. So that would drip out at one. Then category three might drip out seven days later at day eight, okay? So this, you would set all your content so that it's dripping. Now, here on the offer checkout page, this is where you use the product access date. There's a checkbox. I'm going to show you exactly where it is, but that's what you use to keep everyone going at the same time. Now, let's contrast that with people individually. So this person buys, and let's say they buy in November. They buy the same offer, but there's not the same time, okay? This is where you're gonna run into more people calling this an evergreen course, meaning there's no start and stop. People are going through it at the same time. So not at the same time. So when they buy, they will start. So buy, you start at that time. So here, the drip, Okay, and the days, same thing. So category one is set it is zero, meaning we want them to get it right away. So that is actually a published category. Then two drips on day one, and category three drips out on day eight. So this person buys in November. Well, this person buys in December. They're gonna do the same exact offer here. Again, they're not going at the same time. So when they buy, they start. So this person is going through here with December dates. Now, someone else buys, and these can all be happening on different days, obviously. They buy in January. They buy the same offer, here we go. When they buy, they start, so they are going through drip in January. That is totally different than our first one. So this first group of people 
even if they're buying in November, December, January, February, they're buying at different times, they're all going to have the same product access date. So here, they're going to always stay together. This is going to match. So this, I would say, is a group experience plus drip content. That's a better representation of this first one. This bottom one is an evergreen experience for you because it's open all the time plus drip content. So they're very different. Either one works. It just depends on what your business model is, what you want to do. So let's pop into my test site. Let me show you what this looks like. So underneath your products, you're going to open up your offer. You will have already set your product so that your drip dates, the content is coming out the way that you want it to. Then underneath the offer screen, and we'll just open up one of the offers I happen to have done. So you would open up your offer. If you're gonna go with the group experience plus drip content, meaning you have to keep everybody together, that is a pivotal part of what it is that you've designed and are selling, then you can use, I'm gonna take this off, it's from a different example, this product access. So right here, I can click begin access at a specific date. In our example, we used March 1st, right there, and then I'll hit save. So whenever someone's buying this offer, November, December, January, February, whenever I put it up, nobody gets the product until that March 1st date. Once that March 1st date hits, then it will drip and they will stay together. If I'm doing the evergreen experience plus drip content and I'm pre-selling, so I wanna pre-sell my course, I can do that. I can use the product access date so that I'm pre-selling it, but I know I won't have it done until March 1st. But once March 1st hits, then it's not, I'm never gonna touch that date again. So anybody that bought July, August, September, they're all gonna go through that. So if you are wanting group experience, meaning they have to stay together, you would do different offers with different product access dates. That is the simplest way to do it. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight on how Evergreen works with drip content. And again, it's just one of those terms that if you ask five Kajabians, what does evergreen mean? You'll get slight variations with a few big common denominators. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon.